Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today of Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum. So those are the three we're going to be going over today. Bitcoin right now, guys, we're looking for support around that $7,421 right now. And overhead resistance, we're really paying attention to this 200-day moving average. And what I wanted to also do was get into something very important that's taking place. It hasn't happened yet, but I want you all to keep this on your radar. Okay, so if you like these videos, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Appreciate being here with you all today. And guys, we're going to dig into this. So what I was telling you there, what I really want you to pay attention to, and I don't know how many people are paying attention to this or not, the 20 EMA is very powerful in cryptocurrency. In, in many other markets, it's powerful as well, but in cryptocurrency, I believe it's especially powerful and what I like to do is wait for candle closes up above that look for confirmation obviously you're looking at resistance above and support below before you do any trades or anything like that but what you see here guys is this 20 EMA when it crossed over the 200 day so what right now what we have up is our 20 EMA and our 200 EMA that's all I want to put up there so you can really look at this when we had this cross you can see we went from around forty six hundred dollars all the way up to that $14,000. That's how significant this cross was here. And what's taking place now, guys, or we're coming close to taking place, is a downward cross of this 20 down through our 200. Now, it hasn't happened yet, but I want to put it on your radar because if we scan back through this, and this is where I said I like to watch, look at history and all that type of stuff, guys. So when we officially cross down through this for the first time, we were at around $9,100, and then we had this really, really just slow, guys, lower highs. Then we had that flat bottom, and we broke out of the descending triangle to the downside. But once we had that significant cross there, guys, basically we had one last time here where we poked over it, and then we fell back down. But for the rest of the time, I mean, we were really just pressed underneath it or fighting with it, flirting with it, and we just kept getting pushed down by it. It was acting as strong overhead resistance once we made that cross to the downside. So I do want to put that on your radar here because we spent literally, guys, I mean, you're you're talking about besides just popping up a few times, we literally spent from March 17th, 2018, all the way till we got the cross again there, April 8th, 2019. So in my opinion, that's something significant. Am I saying that if it crosses, we have to get smashed to the downside? I'm not saying that. In technical analysis, you plan for the upside, the downside, and the sideways. And that's what I'm trying to do. Just like I have areas right now, I'm looking at these support areas. If we are to drop down even farther, and then I'm, I would also throw on the Fibonacci and look at our 0 0.618. And that's around $7,200 is also an area I'm going to be looking at to the downside. But the simple fact that we may have this downward cross of the 20 down through our 200 and the fact that we're having full body candle closes. Let me bring this up to you here. We're having full body candle closes below this 200 day moving average, which that's not common in a bear market either. You know, so we have some of these factors, guys, that are really pressing down on us right now and I want to point that out now to the upside we need to if we can get a move out of here we need to get up above this 200 day moving average first that's going to be key number one and then number two in my opinion we would have to come back and back test this horizontal line that we had when we broke down through on the descending triangle I was reading more about descending triangles in the encyclopedia chart patterns last night and there's probably about 12 to 15 pages on them, just all the information. Thomas Bulkowski does a wonderful job breaking everything down. He looked at, I believe it was 1,200 descending triangles. And what he found was, guys, basically about 54% of the time you break out like this, you'll come back and you'll back test the area that you broke down through. So that's something I'm paying attention to as well. And he said that a lot of times you'll spend anywhere from nine days to about 15 days trading below here before you make that move back up and that would take us back around that ninety three hundred dollar range 
So that's what I'm looking for in Bitcoin, guys, right now. I'm just really paying attention to these key areas. You know, bullish-wise, too, we had these tweezer bottoms right down in here, which was a good thing, so we saw some defense. But right now, guys, you know, we got a lot of things pressing down on us, and I don't have the time to get into all the indicators because I still have uh, Litecoin and Ethereum I want to go over with here, and I'm on a time crunch. But I just wanted to point that out to you, and we're trading below that 50-day moving average as well, you know, to the bearish side. So you got to take your bearish things, your bullish things, put them all together, guys, and run with it. Next, we're going to go into Litecoin. And with Litecoin, I believe Litecoin is just following Bitcoin. It's just taking its time here. I haven't pointed this out to you guys, but it is definitely many people in the comments have pointed this out. So to all the people who saw that, that's a great eye. You can kind of see how we've had this, you know, head and shoulders pattern taking place. And then this was almost kind of that neckline that we broke down through. So we do need to pay attention to that. Also, guys, and what happens too typically on the head and shoulders, you'll have your biggest surge of volume on this left shoulder here. And that's what we had. And then for the head, it'll start to dwindle off a little more than the right shoulder will even be less. And then you look for that neckline. So that's what I'm saying. We really need to get back up here, guys, above this 20 EMA. That's very important, this entire downtrend, we've just been ridden by it. And then ultimately the 200-day moving average, but we've gotten pretty darn comfortable underneath this 200-day moving average, which scares me a little bit. We dropped down through it at about $88, and that was in the middle of August, August 13th. And since then, we've just been trading below, and I believe we're waiting for Bitcoin. If Bitcoin's going to start breaking to the upside, we're going to have some type of a busted pattern, then Litecoin obviously will be going up, in my opinion at least. But right now, if Bitcoin starts getting slammed to even lower levels, guys, just be careful. That's all I'm saying, because for me, confirmation would be we need to start having candle closes up above this 20-day uh, EMA to start. And that's just one of the things that I'd want to look at and really see, guys. And we'd also want to see support hold now where we had that wick around $50. That's a psychological level and we also had a lot of support over in this area where we almost broke down out of a descending triangle and it was a massive break to the downside but you can see guys I mean the things why I like to point out history I want to teach you all things while you're here so that you can take this and use it in your life but you know when you look at things like this how we almost had a horn top here this one was a little higher but they're about a week apart you can see how the bulls pushed up they failed they came back down tried again and they failed and then we just got smashed to the downside. So these are big things. When you see wicks that long, that's very important and you want to pay attention to that type of stuff. Next one we're going to go into is Ethereum. And a lot of times what I've really been you know, studying about is just to pay attention to price action. Yes, indicators are great. They're going to show you overbought, oversold, that type of stuff. But they can also fool you sometimes because you can stay in overbought territories for so long where you know we've seen Bitcoin be up at 75 on the RSI and it's just getting going and it's going to go up to 93 on the RSI and it's a huge you know another thousand dollars on top of that so in my opinion you really want to look at price action and pay attention to price action and make it king price actions king that's what I've really been learning as opposed to the indicators it's great to throw the indicators on you want to look at them you know get some good confirmation but really pay attention to price action it's one thing I can tell you so what's been strange with Ethereum a little bit here too, as we're going up, our volume's been going down. Typically when you're going up, guys, your volume should be swelling. So that's something we're below our 200-day moving average right now. That's not a good thing. We're below our 20-day moving average. That's not a good thing. We're, the candle close for today is going to be very important for Ethereum because you can see the trend line that I've had drawn. We're fighting with it right now. We tweezer bottom down here, came back up saw some rejection now we're fighting with this trend line so if we start closing below that guys then pay attention because we'd start looking down to this area of support around 168 if that doesn't hold then you know maybe things can start getting uglier down around that 130 140 dollar range which can happen i mean trend line breaks guys as you know trend line breaks are very powerful so you know take a look at that and really pay attention to it and like i said to the upside also around that two hundred dollars but downside it's just going we look at those tweezer bottoms around 154 those are some long wicks here and that's why i was hoping guys and in this market you never want to hope but if bitcoin were to start breaking up this is really nice we had tweezer bottoms here with a beautiful hammer candle right there that should be a powerful hammer hammer candle it didn't come on as much volume as i would have liked but that was a nice hammer candle with a long wick and you would have think that would or would have thought that that would start the move to the upside here where we could start getting some type of high here then a higher low higher high and just challenge as we work back up here but i think the whole market's just waiting for bitcoin right now that's kind of the key so you know guys that's what i wanted to bring you just be careful you know we're in a downtrend right now 
you don't want to catch falling knives always wait for confirmation that's the best thing that I can tell you you know if you're shorting we're even in a dangerous spot right now for that as well it's almost kind of one of those no trade zones you just want to step back you know and be careful so guys that's what I'm looking at God bless each and every one of you like subscribe hit that notification bell if you like what we do here try to do the best I can for you take care my friends